Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing. It's your boy, Big Baby Miller here. Listen, we're knocking on all bums. First, it's going to be Dylan White. If it's going to be Joseph Parker. But you know who got the story right? Mr. Boxing today. You check him out. He got all the latest news on the heavyweight division. And if you don't know me, you soon will. Because I'm kicking everybody. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So pretty much we know that Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, the rematch will not be taking place anytime soon. All right. So... Tyson Fury has his deal with ESPN. Um, now, this is just my opinion. I'm putting this out there, and I'm curious to read the opinions of you guys in the comments section, all right? But who do you guys think should fight Fury for his first fight on ESPN? My vote, the person who I think should get the fight is this gentleman right here, the Colombian who fights up, he fights out of Canada, Oscar Rivas. All right, he's 26-0 with the 18 KOs. One of the reasons why I think he should get the fight is, yes, he's an undefeated fighter, Um his style is fan friendly he's going to come forward but he comes forward in an intelligent manner this guy's he was an olympian you know what i mean he did beat kubat pulev in the olympics pulev is another guy uh who name can be thrown in there to possibly fight tyson fury pulev's going to have a fight with uh he's scheduled to fight bong don denu all right denu just lost to jarell miller all right um so he did beat Kubat Pulev in the Olympics, all right? That is a fact, all right? Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean he could beat him in the pros, but he did beat him in the Olympics, 26-0. Uh, and his last fight, his last fight was against Brian Jennings. So it's fresh in everybody's mind. Brian Jennings was somebody that had been on ESPN previous to that when he had uh, had an exciting fight with uh, Demetrenko, you know what I mean? So i like this fight you know what type of style oscar is going to bring he's going to come forward he's going to be aggressive um so he's not going to give you any type of negative body language when he gets in there he's not he's not in there trying to stink up the joint he is coming to win you know what i mean even late in fights like this fight with jennings when he rallied late in that fight to get the knockout over jennings all right in a very close fight you know what i mean so tyson fury des definitely has the elusiveness to beat somebody like revis because in my opinion Revis's toughest fight, in my opinion, you could say the Jennings fight, but I thought uh, Severa Luis was giving him all he can handle off the back foot. You guys go check that fight out between Oscar Revis and Severa Luis. All right, um, so definitely a winnable fight for Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? Because he has the style to beat Revis, but I think Revis has a fan-friendly style uh, that the fans will enjoy on ESPN. All right. Also, Oscar Rivas is a guy, man, he's been trying to get big fights. He had some eye exam situations, his retina, uh, he, where he was failing all his eye exams. So I had my fingers crossed him going to that Jennings fight, or at least when it was a uh, sign that he would pass his eye exam. Remember, he had the Gerald Washington fight when Gerald Washington was still undefeated. That fight was supposed to take place before Washington fought uh, De Deontay Wilder. I think it was the summer before he fought Wilder. They were trying to get Rivas and Washington together. Then Amir Mansoor was another guy about three years ago that they were trying to get Oscar Rivas in there with. I thought a fight like that had fighter of the year written all over it, man. Rivas versus Mansoor, especially about three years ago, before you know Man Mansoor had the Kuzman and Herkovic and all that type of fights, um, where I think those fights kind of took a took something out of him. He does have a fight coming up with. Um, you know, F.A. at Jagba. But anyways, Rivas couldn't get those fights. Why? Because he failed his eye exam, all right? Then the last thing, an important thing, that will make this fight a good debut on ESPN for Tyson Fury is both of these guys are rated by the WBO. They're rated number four and number five, respectively. All right, you see the top ten right here. Um, Rivas number five, and Tyson Fury is number four, okay? I would love to see this type of matchup, man. Um, you guys let me know what you think and the WBO since Bob Arum has a good relationship with the WBO you can make this into a title eliminator match you dig what I'm saying this this right here can be two of the top five guys things that I've been screaming for a lot of us fans and clamoring for is for more competitive and I just did a video about this yesterday more competitive title elimination bout you know what I mean um, now at least on paper because you really don't know how competitive it's going to be until they both get in the ring. You know what I mean? But at least on paper, it makes sense because it's two of the top five guys in their sanctioning body. Why not make a title eliminator for it? All right. On ESPN, his first fight. You dig what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think they need to find some obscure journeyman guy or some, you know, guy that's on the bottom level of fringe contender for his debut. I think Tyson, I think when they took Tyson Fury in with this deal, at least for me, I'm, I'm thinking that ESPN, 
top rank. They're looking at this as Tyson Fury, to them in their eyes, is the best heavyweight in the world. He's ready for anybody. You dig what I'm saying? Now, some people may argue and say, well, why not take the Wilder fight? You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying as far as, okay, it's not going to be Wilder, at least let it be somebody formidable. You know what I mean? Make your debut against somebody formidable because, hey, they think ESPN top rank. They're getting behind who they think is uh, the best heavyweight in the world, right? They're putting their money behind this guy. So why not, you know, treat the fans to a good fight? Plus, Oscar Rivas is fresh on everybody's mind, all right? I'm getting kind of redundant now, but you guys get the point, man. I'm going with Oscar Rivas. I think he should get the final ESPN with Tyson Fury. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Who do you think Tyson Fury should fight for his first fight on ESPN? I know we want the uh, Deontay Wilder fight. Yes, I would love to see him fight Luis Ortiz as well. You know what I mean? There's some other names in there too. Pulev, you know, if he gets past Denu, which I think he will, but Pulev may try to just savor his IBF uh, mandatory situation. We know Pulev, he'll get into the continuity of fighting guys like uh, old Samuel Peter and Kevin Johnson to try to, you know, preserve his uh, IBF. And, you know, hey, he is the mandatory, you know what I mean? Um, he did earn it by beating Huey Fury when other guys turned down that opportunity to fight him, Dillian White, Dominic Brazil, Jarrell Miller. But those guys have moved on, and Miller's in a bit better situation. He's getting ready to fight Joshua for the titles, all right? But hey, man, I'm going to Oscar Rivas. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section about this. I'm gone.